Hey guys, take a quick look at this. This is Photoshop generating fill doing retouching for you. And key to this is getting the right prompt. Look at this layer here, generative layer. And you click on this. Take a look at this area here, this variation. These are the variation that the prompt I'm going to show you and the way I'm going to show you to apply this prompt so that you can get the best result on your image. Please pay close attention because this information is not available anywhere else on the internet. You get the point right? So follow this tutorial step by step. If you miss any step, this is not going to work. It's not going to work because this is me using the generative feel in a very creative way to retouch skin and get smooth, flawless skin result on your image. So without wasting your time, let's start this from the beginning. Let me let me delete this layers real. So the first step, we are going to duplicate this background layer twice. We name this text. Now we name this blow. I know this might seem familiar, but you are going to see the unique process right after this. Why on blow layer, go to your filter and go to blow, Gaussian blow, set the radius to 2. It must be 2. For now, that is the radius that is working for me. So set the radius to 2. Now click on OK. Come to text. Image. Apply image. Layer. Set the layer to your blur layer. Now the blending should be subtract. The scale 1 and the offset should be 1 to 4. Now click on OK. Come to your blending mode and set the blending mode to linear light. Now let's group these two layers. Put a group and cut the blur layer. Now click on the edit in quick max mode. Come to your edit field. Now the content should be color. Click on the color and make sure the brightness is set to 50. Now click on OK. Click on OK once again. Now come here and click on the edit in standard mode to bring it back to this interface. The next thing we are going to do is to come to the generative field. In the generative field, you must type this prompt to get the result you are about to see in this video. Test the following prompt. Skin. Smoothing. Add a comma. Now type skin. Lighting. Make sure the spelling is correct because the AI uses English, English language. So make sure your spelling is correct. Now add another comma and then space and type skin toning. You now click on generate. And voila, just, just take a look at the skin texture. Don't worry about the deformation right here. Don't worry about it. We'll fix it in a very simple, very, very simple way. Don't worry about it. Just take a look at the skin. Now, the next thing you are going to do to bring back her facial future is to come to the generative layer here. After this, I'm going to show you something amazing like 
just pay close attention because this is a game changer for all of us. So just pay close attention. Now invert the layer marks, the generative layer marks, invert it like this. Control I or Command I. After inverting the layer, the generative layer, now take your brush and then reveal this effect where you want to see the magic happen. Isn't this amazing? If you haven't given this video a like, please give the video a like right now because this is amazing. This is this is beyond wow. Like, I don't know where this is going, but right now it's already amazing. And this method is unique. Like I've been telling you, it's unique to this video. So you better try it out right now. And if you don't have been ready on your PC, I already have a video how to get Photoshop running on your PC or MacBook for completely free, absolutely free. You get Photoshop running on your PC completely free. So if you haven't seen that video, check the pin comment or link in the description so that you can get that on your device right now. Now we create a stamp visible with Ctrl Shift Alternate E or Command Shift Alternate E. If you are using PC or Mac. Now, if you see those little uh, effects here, those little stuff you might not want, you can easily remove that using your spotlight brush. Just click on it, click on it. So, this is magic, and with this, we can edit tons of images. And on this channel, you can see we are putting out the latest updates in Photoshop. AI like everything related to retouching that is latest that is coming out we are putting it out so that we all can follow along and get the best out of this AI stuff so subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed already so that you don't miss out on the latest newest photoshop tip tricks and photography tutorials you can go on to do any other stuff you like you can still do and bond this you can still do any other stuff you like but you can see that this image is now looking amazing with just the first prompt and don't forget there are other options you can see there are other options there you can try them out but the first option was just giving the vibes i really want so try it out and let me know the results you are getting in the comments section please leave your feedback in the comment section please give this video a heart Happy to be part of your beauty journey. See you in another amazing tutorial.